Born in the money maker, but raised in the Bronx where the streets was blazing hot. Amazed by the skunk, we ran deep and played the block. Claim stolen land with plans and major stock to bless the whole fam. But damn, it's a hustle. Gotta struggle just to stay alive. Broken dreams and making millions since '85. Many tried and died. Eyes on paradise. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Flo. We here, man. Back with another video. We're gonna talk about a very important topic in the journey, you know. We're gonna talk about, you know, relapsing, you know, on the path. Something that I'm sure everybody watching this video is very familiar with. And we're gonna break it down a little bit deeper as to why it's important to not relapse, which is obvious to not do. But we seem to, you know, keep circling back around and making the same mistake. I've been there, done that. So, and I'm and I'm a very, you know, highly aware type of person. You know, I'm I'm not running away from, you know, the posting of clarity, you know, downloads that's that's coming, hitting you like a bag of rocks. So let's talk about it. You know, I'm going to say on a good note, right? One of the main things that's actually good about the relapse is that it teaches you a very valuable lesson about, you know, respecting energy. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you're doing your thing, your energy is right, as you're flowing on a path, not relapsing, not, you know, just any of that, any of the bullshit. You just, you, you doing what you gotta do. Whether it be the edging or the peaking, right? That's what I mean, right? You doing your thing and then you end up relapsing. The thing that's the toughest, the toughest thing about the relapse that I think a lot of people actually don't re realize is the humongous shift in frequency. See, it hurts to go from the low that we all come from to now start feeling like you're starting to pick up a head of steam and you feel that frequency shift or that. And then you fucked around and found out fucking with the with the P. And now you felt another huge frequency shift. You went from feeling a huge frequency shift from coming from a low to feeling high but still kind of like not really appreciating it or enjoying it because that's what the post night clarity gonna show you too, right? That's, that right there is, is one of the main things that just, for me, that frequency shift is what make it heavy when it come to relapsing. It make that experience after that just the whole you like, bro, why would I do that? And I got this to do tomorrow. I need my energy to be for me. Like, bro, like I picked, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, and then you start, but see, this is where you got to get out your feelings. Be a man, get out your feelings. And now you start to be like, well, well now I know. Because here's how you think about it, right? You ever been on like a a, 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 a little binge, right? Where like you'll, you'll go a couple days, relapse, week, relapse, right? If you just would, and this is what sometimes we all wish that we would do, but this is another lesson. It's like you ever then throughout the binge, you, you get to like two weeks from that first time that you relapse and then you binge couple days, then a week. Now it's a total of like two weeks. You relapse for like three, four times maybe. And you like, if I'd have just relapsed 
took the downloads I needed to take. I'd be two weeks in right now. What the fuck? That's another, that's another problem I know is a lot of people is going through right now, bro. And I get it. I'm telling you, I've been there, done that a hundred times. If you, especially if you if you've been watching me long enough, you know this. You know, you know what I'm saying. So obviously, like I said, going back to the first point, like really just feeling that huge frequency shift and realizing that you have to respect that and you have to appreciate that. You have to be conscious of that day by day. Every day without a relapse is a great day, bro. It's just, it's just a good day. I've had relapses where I went relapse, then like maybe three, four days went by relapse. And you thinking in the midst of you watching the pee, doing your thing, you like, man, this journey don't even matter. I'm only like three, four days in anyway. Until you end up releasing it, you like, I ain't gonna lie, them three, four days actually did make a difference. I ain't, I ain't feeling this vibe right now. The, you will never stop relapsing until you respect energy and frequency. That's, that's actually what I'm realizing about the past. Right, for example, right, here's another one. This path will make you understand and understand and respect frequency, energy, and aura to the point where you may not realize it, but you'll just start subconsciously being able to pick on, pick up on other people's energy. You'll just have this sort of telepathy power to know where everybody you're around, depending on what their energy feels like, what their frequency and what their aura feels like. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm saying all three, honestly, like, I don't want to confuse y'all. It's, it's kind of, all three of those words I just said, it's kind of all of the same. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, you'll just start realizing that now you'll start to realize, like, this is what's actually important. And it'll make you look at your whole life different. The whole way you used to look at reality. You're going to forget how you even used to see reality. And then once you start to do some reflecting and look back on what was your actual outlook on reality. You're going to realize that this world is actually full of NPCs, full of people that all look at the world the same. In this small-minded, bot type of way that they just, you can't see past it unless you find a path like this. It's the only way. And once you, like, understand that, understand that to that degree, you'll be at a peace to know, like, Leave these people be. It's not going to feel as lonely no more. Because you're going to realize the loneliness that you feel is not even actual loneliness. Like, you don't need people. All you actually need is yourself. It's, it's nothing more fulfilling and whole just to feel whole within yourself, bro. Now, how to feel whole within yourself is loving yourself and respecting yourself and doing the things that you know you need to do to make yourself proud when you look in the mirror. It only get lonely when you a low vibration bot making stupid decisions, doing, going against your own word and doing things that you know you ain't supposed to be doing. And then you start doing what? Seeking out validation from other people, from exterior things. Trying to steal other people's energy subconsciously. And then when that's not working out for you, it get lonely. Because now all you have is you and your fucked up aura that you got to sit with. And obviously you don't want to sit there by yourself. So now you like, eh. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So that's just, that's, that's one of the main things that you got to take in. You know, just about relapsing. You'll start to become a person where it's like, you taking this accountability, you, you 
you digging deep, you getting these downloads, these different type of downloads. Like before, you wasn't getting no, like no real like, no real like, post not clarity downloads after just watching the P real quick. Like, but now it's like all these downloads is coming in. All this, all this like self reflection. And you just like, for me, I got, I got, I gotta, I gotta take all this in, like. Or like, this is special, bro. This journey is special. For real, when you really, really sit there and think about it, like. It's a blessing to just know about this, bro. And understand it. And apply yourself to it each and every time that you... That you slipping. Understand it in that type of way, bro. For real. Like... It's almost as if you really can't make no mistake on this path. Because you're gonna always get all the answers that you need right after. You make the mistake, which is relapse. You're going to get so many downloads, bro. Not only about yourself, but just about the people around you that's making that same mistake that you just made. But they are stuck in that portal forever because they accept it into their reality in a different way than you do currently. Because of where you're trying to, you know what I'm saying? So, and at the end of the day, that, that energy is manifestation energy. It's, it's life force energy. So mm -hmm. technically, who you are, you know, that energy, when you release that energy, it's going to bring life to it. More life to it. It's just bringing more life to it. So when you engaging in it, and as you're engaging in it, yeah, you're enjoying it or whatever, but at the same time, deep down, subconsciously, when you've been on the journey long enough, you accept it as wrong, even in the midst of doing it. In the midst of you doing it, you thinking about how you'll get right back on it, or you gotta get your shit together, or whatever the case. These other bots, they diving into it way differently. In a complete blissful bot type of way. They don't see it the way you do. They only get the subconscious guilt. That they don't see that's there, but it's there. And that right there go deep. <laughs> like I said, bro, this 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 journey is special. For real. You can't lose, bro. You can't lose. So just don't give up, man. For real. Don't give up, bro. It just feel whack to relapse. That's all. Because you, you know you better than that. But take them downloads, though, bro. Take them in. Keep on holding yourself accountable. Get through it. Get right back. You know what I'm saying? Eventually you're going to get it. You will. <laughs>